Good morning. Hi, Bua. Assalamu alaikum. Just a few words and a small impromptu talk because I always talk without preparation. Something that comes spontaneously to my heart. And I always feel it could be the voice of Allah. I don't know. Some divine thing tells me to do that. So I don't prepare my speech in advance. I don't memorize them. I just open my mouth, something comes out. So let's see what's happening today. Today's situation at home, in a home means in a home country, in our motherland, unbelievable. We are going through a catastrophe, through a series of umpteen problems, one after the other. So when you go to the very bottom of it, The, uh, what, what was the main cause of trouble? Everyone says in one universal voice, it's the dollar, the dollar crisis, the American dollar, the powerful dollar that controls the world. Now we have in Sri Lanka got rid of our dollars. Really, what happened with them? Well, uh, what is it all about? So, getting back, now today it was a dollar, then in the good old days uh, it was a pound, and then it has become a universal currency. Today, actually, when I think of uh, the situation today, it shows the average man became small in this country, or universally, all over the world. No, everybody is just pretending. Nobody is really sacrificing and feel for humanity at large. Man has become a, a creature full of lust, that accusative instinct for more, 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 more. Now, before we come to Sri Lanka, let us look at the world at large. What is this Ukrainian crisis? What is this happening? Uh, that is causing a huge imbalance in the economy of the world uh, and disrupting the lives of so many universities. What is it all about? Why is Russia, why is Putin so wicked doing all this? It's nothing but lust. What happened? You know the good old days, Russia, it was composed of so many small, small pockets of countries. So, Ukraine was a small country that, uh, I don't know they call it a country, is not state, but then they all win, uh, collectively goes to form the Soviet Union. There's a long story about it, it's a, it's a long history also. Then, when the Soviet Union at one stage, it was so vast, in the school days, we heard uh, what is the longest railway? It says the uh, Trans Siberian Railway. It starts from Leningrad and it goes around the Russian continent to Vladivostok. It was a large uh, and it had, and then uh, it, it was the Soviet Union was uh, had pockets of small, small. Uh, uh, countries put together and they became a republic. But after some time, they were unable to manage on their own. It cracked up. And then, they are only what happened is the, the, uh, the Ukraine gains their independence along with the other, say, other countries. Uh, uh, and, uh, and after a long period of time, Moscow, realizing once upon a time it was our country and they are out, now we must take them back. So what does he do now? He go declares war to acquire Ukraine back to Soviet Union. If it's a thing you can negotiate and come back, okay. What is the cost of human lives, buildings, installations, 
and also causing great japari to the whole world, directly and indirectly. So, if they had been more considerate, if the Soviet Union was mm -hmm. more humanitarian, they should not go to war at all. They should have all, always kept it as a satellite, satellite state or something as it was and looked after them. So what is the big idea of acquiring that? Then from Ukraine you go to another. Then it was power, 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 the power hunger, universal power hunger and causing universal suffering. So that is a, a thing. We don't know whether, whether it's the beginning of the Third World War or whether it's going to subside. Let us hope it should subside and eventually to subside that rust should go off. Like the Adolf Hitler who had the rust to conquer the whole world and this don't. Let us be more, they should, we all should be more humanitarian, love the, um, the mankind, love every creature, love uh, uh, that they all should survive and all should be, uh, live a happy life. We live a, a short period of time. Life is not eternal. That small speck of time. Uh, why do we do all this? Mm. Then, now look at Sri Lanka. When you come to Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, our motherland, a proud nation from time immemorial. In the ancient days, at the time of Ptolemy, it was Sri Lanka had been a part of this map. Sri Lanka was a, a place of uh, where a country, a small island, having so many blessings. Blessing number one. Unlike most of the countries which has borders and border disputes and all that, this was an independent country in the well uh, located in a strategic position in the Indian Ocean. And it was not wrong, and still is not wrong to say Sri Lanka is the Peradiga Loke Babylon Mutuatria. It is the pearl of the Indian Ocean. Sri Lanka was attracted from the ancient days. When you go deep into the history of Gaul, you see that even uh, during the uh, time of uh, 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 we, we must be calling Suleiman Ali Salam, the time of uh, uh, Solomon, there, uh, there had been sailors arriving at the port of uh, Gaul and to in search of uh, various uh, uh, precious stones and silk and various other items from the ancient days. Sri Lanka had been mentioned. And then all countries had touched this port. And that's how this traveller, uh, who is this, uh, 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 um, 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 uh, like, uh, like uh, Ptolemy, and then later on another famous traveller called Ibn Batuta, they all had gone through Sri Lanka and then they all are in the map. Only thing is uh, the size and the proportions were different, but then this island. Sri Lanka had so many hidden blessings, hidden blessings, so many. And a single is for the original people, they had a uh, tradition for more than four to five thousand years. The new ancient tradition. They belong to the Aryan group and then they later on when various uh, other countries were attracted, one of the earliest attract people who were attracted was the Arabs, who travelled in search of uh, spices. And they came to Sri Lanka, they settled down. They were friends of the king. They never went to war. A peaceful crowd. They all trusted each other and they grew up. And today we Muslims should be proud. We are the progenies of the ancient Arabs who were here. But, and we should also be happy, our mothers are Sinhalis. We also have a great amount of Sinhala blood in ourselves. That's why we love the Sinhalis. They're good people. Then, what happened is, as we emerged 
for the Ceylon moon. And at the time, uh, when the Portuguese uh, arrived, uh, the, uh, the Moors were having a great control of business and commerce in Ceylon. Even in fort, in Petra, have a fort, you know, every area, the Muslims had their control in trade and all that. So when the Portuguese came and even uh, they started to catch hold of the king as of that time and say, we let us do some business and try to deceive him. And uh, they tried to get, get a stronghold in, 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 in Ceylon. The Muslims are vigilant. What they do is they start a big fort and then they uh, assume that it's a big yard where they're going to do business and the country is also going to get benefit and they do something. And they run short of uh, material. They call it Hutu some stuff and then they go to Batavia to collect them. As they try to go, as they left the moors, throw in the people to see what was happening inside. To say, no, it's not a business yard, it was a well armed fortress. They have come to capture us. My God, now they run. They run up to the king to inform them, but it's too late. They come back, and the story, this uh, Muslim discovery, gets out of, uh, goes in, becomes insignificant. Now, this is the thing that I say is not my own assumption. Now, this is a book I read at the British Council, a book uh, written by, uh, I'll take it for the, for the governor, Tennant. Now, Tennant in his book, he quotes all this. So, that also proves that we were not uh, enemies of the thing, we were friends and we loved, uh, we became a part of the fabric of this country. Now, coming to our question. Now, in uh, uh, after the uh, Portuguese, to chase the Portuguese, we had to, uh, the locals, the, the local rulers, caught all of the Dutch to help them to get rid of the Portuguese. That did get rid of the Portuguese, but they took the stronghold and they did the same thing. They all tried to exploit. We had pearls, we had gems, we had elephants, this, that and the other. Now when you see the history of Mahatara, that was a place where elephants were exported. That's how that uh, city was created. If not, uh, the main centre was Gaul. Then, uh, so was the Dutch, and then came the British. And they also caught, caught the whole uh, stronghold, and then finally, uh, the, they couldn't catch the Canadian Kingdom, but at last they captured that also. And now we will come to the story of Morelia, where uh, after the Kandian Rebellion of 1818-1819, Morelia was discovered. That's a different story. Now coming to our homeland, Sri Lanka, you must see the British, the Portuguese, then all sort of we have been having trading with China, and there are evidences that lots of other countries too had their uh, their travel through the. Uh, um, Ceylon, or they had come and done trade with Ceylon, there were a lot of uh, bilateral connections. But then, one of the main reasons why uh, the uh, culture was this thing uh, uh, became important was it, has, it was in, the, in a strategic position in the Indian Ocean, where all the shipping routes and all that was uh, there, even, uh, even to this minute, it's a focal point for the rest of the world. Where it has, uh, it has blessings over blessings. Then, really, you must observe and go deep and see what did go wrong for the present Sri Lanka to suffer so much. We have all those small islands, we had varieties of climates, varieties of, you are come to, you are, when you, you know, it was a place you could Make it a tourist paradise, you get the whole world to come in and make a gala tourist carnival. What happened? Uh, we had uh, a big sun gold, uh, uh, sun baked beaches, and then if you would like to come and for a change, but if you want 
a cool, uh, celebrous holiday resort like in England, you come to the hills of Norway. It's all that. What has gone wrong? What has gone wrong, to my little observation is, ever since the independence, ever since we took uh, control from the British, it is true that the British, they came to exploit our resources and then they got, the, the British of course, they are very guilty to have uh, taken almost the manpower and all the resources more than Sri Lanka, they have raped India. If not for the uh, Indian, uh, for India, uh, uh, at the time of King Victoria, the Indian resources and the Indian personnel, they were all absorbed to create the British era, the British regime which, which controlled the whole world. The resources were all filtered through India and then uh, they fought for the independence. With that, Sri Lanka also got our independence. Anyway, with all that, the British were, although they had come and they had been exploiting us, they did not, they followed, so they had a set norms, certain set standards. Now, for instance, now you need to come to Sri Lanka. This town of Norelia, they found it was the highest point and Dr. Dave, you discuss it in the 1890s, says this region is a water course and it became the water and then from there the water starts. And then it was their concept of a reservation for us that all those things were well organized. And when independence came, what was our bank reserves? What was the state of affairs? They gave us freedom. I don't know, you have to go deep into it and see. As years went by under this parliament system, where people uh, came, the rulers were created, and then every now and then they were changed from hand to hand, and then what was the state of affairs at the start? Our balance of trade, our reserves, our economy at the start. Although uh, the Suddhas, they, 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 uh, when they gave us, we did not continue to maintain it. Just like a big organization, a big business, it was a big business, it took over. And uh, we become the directors of it, we should have concentrated and seen what was happening. Here, time and again, the staff was changed, the administration was changed, the entire thing was going out of control. And today we find a country where the balance of trade is at Jafari, and uh, we don't know what happened to our reserves, what happened. And the lot of allegations of corruption and misuse, abuse. So which is a thing I will never ever go into detail and end up in unwanted controversies. So whatever happened has happened. Today Sri Lanka is in a huge crisis. We don't, it has started off with the dollar crisis. With the, continuously it has uh, ended up with the petrol and fuel crisis. And one thing or the other, today the whole world, uh, Sri Lanka is in Dapati, the whole world is so scared and worried of what's going to happen to Sri Lanka and this nation. And children don't go to school, they all stay at home, there's no food, there's no inflation, and rupee notes away, one pence away, they start printing, and then, oh God, everything is going as, as, uh, as free. And there are pockets of troubles and Within and without, today Sri Lanka is in a world full of trouble. So, to make things short, what I would suggest is and pray. Let us, as a world, universally, I think the world at large too should be very careful. This Putin's lust and avariciousness of Ukraine is not going to stop at that. Now, once he says that, China is going to say, focus on Taiwan and the Third World War and the whole planet. Huh? You one thing after the other they do. We are just stop and be more human and stop all this nonsense and think in a life in a spiritual manner and try to have a universal peace. That is one part of the story. And where coming to Sri Lanka, it's a total disgust and it's a big eyesore to the whole world. The Babylon of Mutuatia, is no more Babylon, no. it's a boiling, it's a it pick up a hell hole to live in. All you get the passport officers are queued up, the 
flights are going out and the whole country is bankrupt and it's in a great disaster. So it does not mean now we are going to say no. We are Sri Lankans. It has been a good country. It has a long tradition. We are going through a very bad period. So what we should do is no point in pointing our fingers at so and so or so and so. It's true. They, let us not try to point at the sinners. Let us bring a halt to the sin. That, that is, that should be the philosophy. Let us stop all this misuse, abuse, and let us have some good, cultivate some good values where man should be free from lust. You ask a good Buddhist, you ask him, Mokad the Lokuma Sampati, he'll say Satutra. Yeah, yes, I did for that. He said, Alhamdulillah, if Allah has given you, it's enough. So if you were content in mind, everything is okay. You must help. Before you help yourself, you help your brother. Try to do something and now rectify, rectify everything for one end. Once this dollar problem is there, then our set of uh, administration, our entire structure has to be changed and it has to come into a beautiful change without, uh, what do you call, I don't know in history, you get a bloodless revolution, where without bringing a lot of uh, disasters and agony and bloodshed, very peacefully, all intellectuals, collectivists, politicians should all, uh, very, uh, with a very human feeling, put their heads together and bring Sri Lanka back into life. In you no know, you know time, one Sri Lanka can just bury the hatchet and put things together and uh, sort out. And it's a good intention. Allah is there, the God is there. And we'll, any, any, any uh, we, I don't say, uh, as a Muslim, I always have the habit of speaking of Allah because I'm a strong Muslim. So I would apply to all religions. The Buddha is the thing. We must say, the Yosaki, we have apikala de paladena. Honda de hitana, apichetana, honda venone. Ye de giave. We'll restart. That's all I would say and conclude. Buddha, goodbye. Assalamu alaikum. Allah, 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 Kabul. Subha, Anadhyaya, Kweva, Sri Lanka, Vata, Mulu, Loka, Vasitama, Vata, Sitak, Lebeva. Jai, Jai, Veva. It's good luck, good luck, goodbye. It's Ali Zahir, a small man, very insignificant fellow, just spoke something to my heart. Thank you.